Hi, I'm Estelle from Digital Schoolhouse and you're watching Packet Sniffing from our series of follow along computing activities taken from the book How to Raise a Tech Genius. To all learners watching, remember you can pause the video at any time to take notes, collect your thoughts or take part in the activity alongside me. Parents and guardians, you might want to watch the next bit as it explains what resources are needed, but after that feel free to join in or sit nearby to supervise if you want to. This activity is unplugged, meaning it teaches computing without the use of any digital technology. In fact, all you will need is three different chocolate bars, a plate or chopping board, a sharp knife and 12 envelopes, ideally without windows, but if, like me, that's all you've got at home, then we can make a workaround for that. If you don't have chocolate bars at home or you don't like chocolate, you could use something different inside the envelopes. It's absolutely fine and completely up to you. Feel free to pause the video now to collect all your resources together. In packet sniffing, you'll be learning about computer networks, the internet, you'll also be modelling a real world physical system and you'll be learning how computer systems communicate. More about that later. First thing that you're going to need to do is to take one of your chocolate bars and you're going to cut it into four pieces. Now, if you want to, because what we're going to be doing is actually literally sniffing the chocolate bar, you might want to cut it into um, slightly more smaller pieces, but it's up to you. So you need to do at least four pieces because you're going to be dividing this up among four envelopes so at least four pieces but you probably will find it would be better to cut it into small pieces so that you can actually have a good old whiff and a good old sniff of that particular chocolate bar once you've cut your chocolate bar into pieces you're then going to take your envelope so you're going to take your first four envelopes and you're going to put the pieces of chocolate equally in the envelopes. Now if like me all you had around your house were envelopes with the um, window in them what you can do is just take a piece of paper and then cut it so that you can place it in the envelope just to cover up the window. Okay so that's one option of doing if you do have envelopes like me with windows in that you don't want to be visible because you don't want people to be able to see what the chocolate is inside. So ideally use envelopes that don't have windows. Place the pieces of chocolate inside, inside and then seal up the envelope and you need to do that with all three chocolate bars until you've filled up all 12 of your envelopes. Okay so now that I've literally finished stuffing all of my envelopes with the delicious chocolate um, what I'm going to do is literally sniff each one and work out what is in it. So let's have a good sniff of this one. Now I think that one is crunchy, so I'm going to put it in my crunchy pile. So let's go over here and it's going to go in my crunchy pile over here. Okay, next I'm going to sniff my next envelope. So I'm going to have a good old sniff of this one. And I think I can smell peanuts, so I think this one is probably a Snickers bar. So I'm going to put that into my Snickers pile. In fact, you can see that my envelopes are so ancient, I've had to stick them together with some sellotape. Um, I'm going to have a sniff of my next envelope, so let me just grab that. And let's have a good sniff of this one. And I, think I can smell a bit of caramel on that one. So I think that that one might well be a Twix. So let's place that one on there. There we go. I think that's a Twix. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that until I have got through all 12 envelopes and I've identified which of the different chocolate bars I think they are. Okay, so I'm literally packet sniffing. Okay, and that's what I'm doing on that first activity. Once you've done that and you've uh, experimented with that, if you're happy and you're finished, you can open up the envelopes, see if you're right, and then you can uh, award a prize and you maybe get to eat the chocolate if you are correct. Or if you want to have a go at doing a second activity, what you can do is actually start to think about how you would make sure the right person got a particular chocolate. So what you're going to do with this one is you're actually going to address the um envelopes to the person that they need to get to. So you would actually write the name of the person on the envelope based on their preference of chocolate bar. Okay, so not only are you going to sniff it, but you're then going to allocate who that chocolate bar needs to go to.
and that's the second activity. So that's two activities for this one, a two in one for you. This activity teaches about how computers send packets of information over networks. Remember, the internet is one example of a network. Each packet has the following information sent with it. The recipient's address, normally an IP address, which is a unique identifier for an internet enabled device. The title of the file, how many packets of information make up the file, just like in our example, we had four envelopes which made up each of the different chocolate bars. What part of the file the packet is, so it can be put back in the right order. It will then have the actual part of the file that's being sent, just like in the example where each of our envelopes contains some of the chocolate bar. These packets make their own way through the internet to their destination and then the device at the receiving end will put the packets back together to form the whole file. So what's packet sniffing and how is this related to security? Packet sniffing is the act of capturing a data packet that is being sent across a computer network. It's similar to what you might see in the movies when they wiretap a telephone line. Packet sniffing is mostly used by hackers who are illegally collecting information about the network. Internet service providers or ISPs use packet sniffing to track all your activities, such as who are you sending email to? What is inside the email? What are you downloading? What websites do you visit? What do you look for on that website? Did you download anything from that website? Do you stream video? And if so, what? So that gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the things that you've learned by doing this activity. Thank you for taking part. I hope you've had fun and learned something new. If you've enjoyed packet sniffing, check out the book How to Raise a Tech Genius for more ingenious computing activities. You'll also find ideas of how to take this activity further. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please email dsh at uki.org.uk. Now, we'd love to see you learning computing at home with Digital Schoolhouse. Parents and guardians, please feel free to share any images or videos using the hashtag computing at home. You can do that on Twitter or on Facebook. Lastly, I wanted to say a huge well done for taking part today. I'm Estelle and I look forward to seeing you next time.